Rashi tells us at the beginning of the Parsha, here in Parsha's told us, Vayisrotesu habanim bekirba, Rivka feels the pain of the child. She thinks it's a child. She didn't know it was twins. Vatomrim kin lama ze anochi. She didn't know what was happening. And Rashi quotes the famous Medrash, what was happening? Mikra ze omer darsheni. Rabosina darshu lasun ritsa, kishahaisa overas al pischei Torah, shal shem ve'ever, when she passed by a house of Shame Ve'ever, a base medrash, a yeshiva. Yaakov Ratzim of Arkes Lot says, Yaakov tries to get out. And of course, when Overes Alpischei Overes Kochavim, when she goes past the base of Odezara, Esav tries to get out. And the question that some of the Bali Musar ask is, why did Yaakov want to get out? We know the Gemara Masech Hasnida tells us that uh, every baby in utero learns Kala Torah Kula, and there's no better time in their lives than that those few moments. So why would he want to get out? He's learning with an amazing Chavrusa. He sees a base medrash outside, and his neshama feels it. Why? So some suggest, some so far they quote as saying, well, the importance of a chevra. You might be able to have an amazing chavrusa, but if Esav is sitting next to you, that would put a damper, and that would be the hashpah l'ra, would be so difficult. And the Chavaz Chaim quoted this Chazam Sofer and said, the importance of harchik mishachin ra and makarev l'shachin tov. That's one suggestion. But there might be another suggestion. The Gemara tells us in Shabbos, as many are familiar with, that when Moshe Rabbeinu went up to Har Sinai to accept the Torah, the Malachim weren't interested. They don't want to give the Torah. They said, no, we want it. And Moshe Rabbeinu says, what am I supposed to do? Hashem says, answer them. And Moshe says, boy, they're going to burn me. Penis rifuni, shebehevel shebefiyem. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, hold on to the Kisya Kavit and answer them. So Moshe holds on to the Kisya Kavit and goes through all the Yasser Sadibros and says, does this apply to you? Does this apply to you? Kavit is v'yichav esimecha. Were you in Mitzrayim? Lo sirtzach, lo sinaf, lo sachmod. And they realize that it's not for them. The question that all the Bali Agada and Akamara ask is, what were the Malachim thinking? And what was Moshe Rabbeinu's answer? It's so obvious. The Torah doesn't apply to them. Lo sirtzach, lo sinaf, kavit es v'yichav. So, what was the Havamina? What were they thinking? So some suggest <laughs> that they wanted to have the Torah in Shemayim and learn Torah and study Torah. Just like the Torah was for thousands of years before the world was created. So they said, keep it in Shemayim and we'll learn Torah. Okay. So what's the answer? What was the Chiddush of Moshe Rabbeinu? Because life's not just about learning Torah. Life's about living Torah while learning Torah. And learning Torah while living Torah. That's the goal of life. And that's what Moshe Rabbeinu taught them. It's not just about learning in Shemayim, it's about living in life. And maybe that's what Yaakov Avidu's Neshama felt when he saw he was learning with a Malach inside a utero. But that's not the goal of life. The goal of life is to go out into the world and learn in the world and be involved in the world and be able to learn an inspired and enriched life connected to Kodesh Baruch Hu out there. So, two ideas that we learn. Number one, the importance of Hebra, the importance of who surrounds us. And number two, recognizing that Kodesh Baruch wants us to be involved in the world and learn Torah while we are involved in the world that we live in. Have a great Shabbos.